Isa ang Pinoy boxer na si Brian Biloria sa mga namamayag pag noon sa lower division ng professional boxing. Bagamat sa Amerika lumaki itong si Brian Biloria, ay purong Pilipino naman ito dahil kapwa Pilipino ang kanyang mga magulang. Taong 2001 nang pumasok sa professional boxing si Brian Biloria at mula nga noon ay nagkasunod-sunod na ang panalo nito. At dahil sa kanyang galing ay naging number one contender si Viloria ng WBC sa light flyweight division. Kaya naman abot kamay na nito ang kanyang inaasam-asam na world title fight. Ngunit bago lumaban sa world title ay sumabak muna sa isang tune-up fight si Brian Viloria kung saan nakasagupa niya ang Mexican journeyman na si Ruben Contreras. Dinumina ni Biloria ang kanilang laban at sa kalagitnaan ng round 6 ay biglang tumalikod si Contreras at nagreklamo ng pananakit ng ulo. Matapos ang 10 minuto ay kaagad na isinugod sa ospital ang Mexican boxer at doon nga ay napag-alaman na may namuong dugo sa kanyang utak. Milagro naman na nakaligtas si Contreras ngunit lubhang naapektuhan ang katawan nito. At tuluyan na itong nabaldado. Dahil sa pangyayaring iyon, ay napaisip si Brian Viloria kung ipagpapatuloy pa ba niya ang kanyang pagboboxing. Buti na lang at maraming nangumbinsi kay Brian Viloria na sayang ang kanyang nasimulan at paghihirap sa pagboboxing. Kaya naman mahigit ang tatlong buwan matapos ang kanyang laban kay Ruben Contreras ay napalaban na sa isang world title fight si Brian Viloria. Ito nga ay kontra sa nooy WBC light flyweight world champion na si Eric Ortiz. Ang laban kay Eric Ortiz ay inaalay ni Brian Viloria sa kanyang nabaldadong kalaban na si Ruben Contreras at sinabi nito na kahit ano mangyari ay iuuwi niya ang titulo. Ringside with us tonight is the fighter Ruben Contreras. He has battled the toughest battle any fighter could face in his career. And tonight, Brian Valorio is dedicating this bout to Ruben Contreras. Let's have a big hand. Bago ang kanilang bakbakan ay may kartada noon si Brian Valorio na 17 wins, 0 loss at may 11 KO. Habang ang kampiyon naman na si Eric Ortiz ay may kartada noong 25 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw at may 16 KO. And here we go. The light flyweight championship is on the line. Now Valoria of course has that beautiful, strong, powerful left hook. And he's not a fast starter. He's a bit of a counter puncher. Very selective with his punches. Ortiz is durable. He is strong. Valoria... Also strong. I'm interested in seeing if it, if it really emerges as to who has a strength edge in this fight. Valoria, remember, coming down and weight. So you would think he would have that. And if he has the, the strength and the speed, it could be a tough night for Ortiz. I watched Ortiz at the final press conference and heard some of the questions being asked to interpreters. He's very poised, very confident. A lot of experience. Good little combination for Valoria. Now he just <laughs> steps that. up the pace. That was a cute little right uppercut inside that caused the most damage. Looking very crisp with his punches, very composed. As Rich mentioned, an Olympian lost in the second round of the champion from France. Raheem Aslu in 2000, four-year pro is Valoria, proudly mentioned at all the press conferences that both his parents are from the Philippines, although he was born in Hawaii. Started punching, and now the crowd is solidly behind him, the Mexican champion. Stop! The Hawaiian punch definitely gets a lot of Filipino love. Yeah, they've got the flags in here. The flags are waving. Yeah, this, this is an evenly split split crowd for this fight. 
Early on, his training methods very interesting. He would punch banana trees to strengthen his hand, he said, starting at age six. <laughs> Some barbaric and medieval sort of thing there. Well, Rocky, right. you know, punch the, uh, the cowhide. Yeah. Slab the meat. <laughs> I did a an amateur telecast in 1999 here in the United States, which was a uh, USA versus Puerto Rico uh, match, a team match. And uh, we named as the fighter of the night. Let's go, Brian. Let's go. Brian Valoria was on the American team. Oh. He was so impressive. And uh, we named one fighter of the night from uh, the United States uh, and one from uh, Puerto Rico. Valoria was the fighter of the night from the United States. Miguel Cotto, if you can believe it, was the oh, wow. fighter of the night from uh, Puerto Rico. But the one thing I remembered about the fight was Valoria, after the fight was over and he won, did the hula in the ring. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That's he, he still does that. Bago matapos ang round 1, ay nagawang mapabagsak ni Biloria si Eric Ortiz. Sinubukan pa naman nitong tumayo, ngunit nawala na nga ito ng balanse. Kaya naman kaagad na itinigil ng referee ang laban. The second right hand. Yeah, he staggered him a little with that one, and Ortiz felt it, but he never saw this one. Three right hands in a row connected. Was... Dahil sa panalong iyon ay nakuha ni Brian Biloria ang kanyang kauna-unahang world title. The winner by knockout, and now the new WBC Junior Flyweight Champion of the World, the Hawaiian Punch. Brian Deloria! That took a lot less time than I thought.